everyone, my name is Lara Kudai Samuels and I am the matchmaking mistress. I help singles attract their dream partner and work on the aisle in the shortest time possible. I know you have missed my videos and I have missed myself, I won't lie to you, but I'm so glad I am back today. I'm really so happy. So today I want to talk to you about something that is really important. On Sunday, I was speaking at the um, Redeemed Church, I was speaking to young people. Shout out to our CCG video of Valley Parish in Surulere. We really had a nice time. And you know, the title was Before You Marry. Before You Marry. Single people tend to be, you know, um, they get to be carried away by, you know, marriage. I want to marry, I want to marry. So, okay, so what do I need to do? I need to have an apartment, I need to have, you know, be ready physically and all of that. And, you know, Preparing for marriage, you know, transcends all of this. First of all, for me, before you get married, you need to discover you. You need to know you. Who are you? Who are you? What makes up who you are? What is your temperament? What are your antecedents? What was your childhood like? Let me tell you, three things in psychology makes up who we are. First of all, is your childhood. Second of all is your society you are bringing and third of all is your significant emotional experiences. For instance, mine, everybody know by now that I had 14 outbreaks, I had a child at 19 and I had 15 abortions. That changed my life. It literally changed who I was supposed to be. I became somebody else and I had this self-esteem. I started attracting so, you know, different, different, different people in my life until I finally found my Prince John. So some of you, something has triggered you, has changed the course of who you are supposed to become. That's why you are attracting the people you are attracting right now. Were you raped when you were young? Did you have an abortion that you know you just couldn't stop thinking about? Or did somebody you know jilt you and that just changed the course of your life? Or your father molested you or treated you in a way that just changed everything? If you do not deal with this thing, it's going to affect who you want to marry. It's going to affect how you are dating because you have not dealt with you know inner issues inside of you. That is why you know people keep attracting a certain set of people. You know, there's this woman that I deal with. You know, I, I have this three month self mastery um, coaching career and in that three months we deal about you, we deal with you, who you are. Why are you behaving this way? Why are you attracting this set of people? What is the problem? Why are you attracting heartbreakers? Why are you attracting broke people? We deal with it. So please contact me if you want to join that course. You know, so this woman, I realized that she, you know, she has been attracting uh, um, people, men to her that um, they didn't have money. They wanted somebody to mother them. They wanted somebody who would become, you know, their mother. And she too did it. You know, she in fact we sat down, profiled all her relationships. She has become a mother to all her, you know, boyfriends, and it's affecting her. Until we realized that I you know I told her you are communicating something different. You grew up as the first one, you grew up being a mother to some you know, young people that didn't have mother. So because of that, you want to start becoming mothers to men. So you attract weaklings to you, you attract, you know, weak men, men who are looking for mothers, women who are looking for, you know, until we had to change something in before she started attracting the right set of people. So this is what I'm talking about. This is why you have been attracting those people because you don't know who you are. This is why you have been sabotaging your relationships and you think all men are bad, all women are deceitful. It is not. It starts with you. You have been sabotaging your relationship. So I'll talk so much more about this the next time. Before I go, I want to invite you to my complete singles club group on Facebook. You know, that's I talk about these things. I'm there every day answering questions, talking, and all of that. If you have not joined, search for the complete singles club group on Facebook. It's a close group, you know, and I'll accept you to that group and then we can start talking it's free you can start you know relating with me for free and also follow me on instagram my name is lara kuda you see my kuda you see as a y k u d a y i s i follow me on instagram follow me on twitter on facebook i will be there to answer all your questions you know like i always say it is never too late to live happily ever after bye for now